So, what comes? I guess some are still missing, but not many, and I, I hope all support two participants besides our staff uh, who are announced will really be here. Thank you for being here in time. Gianfranco looked somehow irritated at me right now and said, when will you start? I said, at 11. Is this along the schedule? I said, yes. Oh, I'm so glad that you, that you do not disappoint me because you are German. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise to be in that respect German. Um, so, also, I'm not very much talented in English, I speak English, and I want you also to do that also through two days. We promised to be an English-speaking meeting, and certainly if you are amongst German-speaking people, you have, may have the tendency to speak German. But if you can stay in English, especially certainly when uh, some of our foreign guests are with you. And now we go more to the content question. We had formed a task force to make this happen and to interact with all these people. And this, uh, there are four people. This is Hildegard. Hildegard, where are you? Ah, here. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> in the garden, this is um, Klaus first, ladies first. Ladies first? No, no, Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Margit. And Margit is also here as a representative of the DBVC, German Federal Association for Business Coaching. And we are, we do, it's not an, uh, a meeting of this association, but we do it together, the co-branding meeting, so it's separate. <coughs> so, and we have, uh, yeah, I start with, uh, with the content. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you a bit uh, about the ideas that brought us together here. Uh, since years, uh, I'm very much invested in really connecting coaching with organizational development. So, uh, also I've been a psychotherapist for many, many years. It's wonderful to know a lot about psychotherapy and schools of psychotherapy and individual consulting. I always felt we have to go beyond and do something really to be a help to organizations and develop concepts for organizations. And this is one route. And another route was that the DBVC, we thought we should be somehow connected with international bodies. And so, for example, I've been at two meetings of EMCC in Zurich and Cologne, uh, to find out whether they have a section of people who are really oriented to organizations that we as CBBC can cooperate with. But uh, there have the majority, even in EMBC, uh, I found have been people who mainly work individually and are very much interested more in psychological approaches enlarge them a bit into the world of organizations and they have been interested, certainly they are interested in the world of organizations but I felt like they do, um, not really decided to develop identities and concepts really to be an organizational coach, a business coach and so we gave up to try to come to a cooperation with these bodies because the majority on the other side was not organizational really and so we had the idea, what can we do next somehow to, to build that up? And then we had the idea, we can uh, focus 
from organizational coaching and to invite colleagues from other countries uh, to discuss with us, to build a network, to develop the concepts and approaches for organizational coaching. And the idea, and when I did my first um, mailing, uh, <coughs> many people have been interested, for example, Sir Whitmore. Sir Whitmore, a, a fossil of, of this area, he was very friendly and said, I'm ready to come even without any fee and to lecture. And some other elder statesmen in the field offer their services, but I thought, no, I don't want just to make a mix up of classics. <coughs> My idea was we, sh we could find in several countries people between maybe 40 or 50 who are experienced and are about building up their own approach and business. So they are really hungry to, to to grasp the idea of development in organizational coaching and organizational <coughs> development. And um, to invite them, to discuss with them, and build up a coalition of developing this area further and supporting them to build up communities in their countries. And uh, the DBBC was ready also to help them to start maybe an association in their own country but totally autonomous. We are, we are not interested in building up an international organization. There is an international organization that is very clearly dedicated to organizational development. This is WABC, World um, Association for Business Coaching. This, the origin is Canada, you said. It was created in the States, but it is now run in Canada. Okay. Central, the central, the United the States and Canada, but it was not possible to get in contact with them. Um, I felt like they are more interested in being a bit colonialistic and spreading out their system and not so much interested in having an equal eye level communication uh, with other people. So we again and again invited, tried to invite people and uh, from the other countries, not many reacted or they said, oh yeah, that's interesting, let me know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> but we had many German-speaking people who said, that's a wonderful thing. Uh, can we come? And, and the first people said, no, I didn't want you. I <laughs> colleagues from the other countries. But then I said, why not go with the wind? <laughs> uh, and so today, here are many people who are dedicated or interested, severely interested, I hope so, in uh, business coaching and the connection to organizational development and the responsibility and the challenge that the business <coughs> world of today and of the future will bring us. And at the same time are interested in international orientation or already working in an international modus and have colleagues outside and first want to check whether this is a place it's worthwhile for them to travel here. And I know here are many people who are very uh, experienced and work internationally. We have chosen for this time three presentations, but I, I'm sure at least three other presentations are in the room. Uh, who cannot run this time, but will maybe do that next time. So, it's now a forum for a collegial exchange with an international orientation with the hope to find partners in other countries that come here to join us. <coughs> and it's from the focus here dedicated to Business coaching, organizational coaching, we still have a, a mix-up with all these labels. We, have, we will talk about that more. Uh, and to get in dialogue with organizational development. And so, so this is a meeting not to share concepts, 
detailed concepts or approaches or experiences. This is a kind of a programmatic discussion meeting. So what, what is our idea, how the future would be, and how organizational development, how business coaching could develop really to meet challenges of the future. This is the idea. And I will start uh, later on with under the label organizational coaching. And in the afternoon, uh, I will uh, not say much about our concepts on organizational development. There is a book out there. Uh, more how we want to connect to it. And in the afternoon, Gianfranco Goethe from SCOA in Milano, uh, he wrote me that it's not enough to be really organizational oriented. It's important really to be business oriented. You must understand the business, otherwise uh, you will not really be of help for organizations. And he has some of uh, some of the labels. Uh, some labels in that area. One is um, uh, project coaching, business project. business project coaching, and he will do a presentation in the afternoon to explain us what he means with that and what his view on the world is uh, while presenting uh, the <coughs> product. And I had uh, Michael Röhrig, uh, Michael Röhrig? Yeah. Yeah. Michael Röhrig uh, he, uh, he made the contact with uh, Charles Busche, uh, and so I uh, got the information that there is a new uh, trend in organizational development, what is called dialogic organizational development. So, uh, and it's, you will say a lot to that tomorrow, but what I like is the word mindset. It's a different <coughs> perspective. We use all the tools, all the concepts, all the approaches we know already, but we do it from a different mindset. And I find, found this interesting and most of these mindset ideas I read are very similar to what we call organizational coaching. So I guess there is a, a very good connection. So we will have three presentations. Three times we spread into subgroups and you discuss what you heard, what your resonances are on that. Then we come back and we discuss together with the presenter. And this is the format. And we do that three times in these one and a half days. It's a format of Dialog Forum of DBVC. We do it since 10 years, an annual Dialog Forum, and we developed this concept uh, for the Dialog Forum. In the Dialog Forum, uh, we invite companies uh, under a subject, let's say, organizational culture to present where they are, they are, how they connect this issue to their business, and what they want from our professions to develop, so that they really have something they can use. And we have this since 10 years, and it's really inspiring. Every year, it's in the last Friday, Saturday in January. If you are interested, uh, tell us you will be invited next time. Next time we will be in Zurich, Switzerland. Uh, the host is uh, Swiss Day. It's an international re insurance. And we are discussing uh, strategies of staff development. How this is in the banking sector. And the second company that is presenting there is uh, Bayerische Sparkassen Academy, German. So it's, it's very far from each other, and there will be a huge cultural change in the next years in this area, so I expect it that it will be very interesting how these companies think about how they should uh, equip their staff to be prepared for all these changes that come under the label strategic human research development, uh, human resource development. So, this was a, a first introduction.